Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to disable OneDrive on Windows 10. So this should be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by going down to our system tray, down at the bottom right corner of our screen. And you want to left click on this little upward facing arrow one time. And now there should be an icon that looks like a cloud. You want to right click on that icon and you want to proceed to left click on the settings button right above and now you want to go down to or left click on the settings tab and where it says start OneDrive automatically when I sign into Windows you want to deselect that by clicking inside that box one time and then you want to click on OK Then I recommend that you restart your computer and now I'd also recommend going into the start menu left click on it one time and either you can type in settings or you click on the little gear icon if you have one or you hover over on the left side it says settings you want to left click on that you want to click on the system tile or apps depending on what version of Windows you're running there might be a button that says apps but for my version of Windows it's going to say system and now I'm going to go underneath apps and features on the left side so again it might be a little bit different for you guys depending on what version of Windows you're running so now on the right you want to type in underneath search this list you want to type in one and the best match that comes up should say Microsoft OneDrive right here click inside of here and then select uninstall it'll say the app and its related info will be uninstalled select uninstall and if you receive a user account control window you select yes and this should completely remove OneDrive from your computer so if you ever wanted to reinstall you could always go through the Windows Store and get it again but for most of you guys, once you probably uninstall, you don't want it again. So I just want to put that out there. But I do hope I was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.